That's a great question. There are a lot of animals with complex brains. Dolphins, for example, have a brain uh, that is equally complex as ours. Their brain is also about the same size relative to their body as ours. So there are big-brained species. They don't dominate the Earth. Why do we dominate the Earth? Well, we can manipulate our environment. We have hands, and we have opposable thumbs. We can talk about our environment. So we have many more tools to manipulate our environment, to control it, to change it, than these other animals who might be equally intelligent. They have less ways to express that intelligence. Uh, do we have any information about what we're doing in terms of our own environment uh, as we expand as a species? Uh, the possibilities of extinction are very high on the horizon, particularly given, given our technology of atomic fusion and fission. I mean, we've been so lucky and resourceful so far, but can we continue that for another couple of million years? Uh, to me, it's very, very doubtful. You'll notice indicators on the geologic timescale in somewhat evenly spaced intervals. These represent periodic extinction events, catastrophic occurrences that wiped out large portions of life on Earth. Mass extinction events are something that we've only come to realize in the last 20 years or so. We used to think that the only kind of extinction was a Darwinian extinction, where an animal would simply be out-evolved or out-competed by another species. And we now know there are times when mass extinction events occur, when 75%, even 95% of all species disappear quite suddenly. Uh, we've come to realize that over the past 260 million years, these extinction events occur with incredible regularity. They have occurred about every 26 million years. There may be an astronomical explanation where we uh, encounter a cloud of meteors every, every 26 million years. Uh, there's another theory that suggests that we might have a companion star to our sun, and we only encounter that on our circuits around uh, the galaxy every 26 million years. So whatever the reason is, it's, it has apparently something to do with an extraterrestrial event where we encounter a cloud of meteors, and they wipe out a large, significant portion of uh, life on Earth. We're midway between uh, two extinction events. The last one happened just 13 million years ago. Archaeological sites are our only doors to the past. Fossil remains are all we have to study in an attempt to answer the seemingly unending list of questions scientists have concerning the Earth's past. Fossils are bones or other remains that chemically changed over millions of years. Their organic compounds have been replaced with inorganic compounds, usually minerals, and they've solidified, but their original structure remains. Many are quite beautiful. Frequently, fossil remains are fragments, a thigh bone, a jaw bone, or part of a cranium, but it's surprising how much we can learn from a fragment. Well, if we look at a piece like this with only two teeth in it, we can tell a great deal of information uh, from this particular jaw. Uh, the teeth are, are worn flat. Uh, we know that this individual ate a diet that was highly abrasive, that was composed of grasses and grains with a lot of silica in it. We also know the individual died young. Uh, this is the third molar and that erupts uh, at the time of adulthood. And this individual did not long survive adulthood. A name we hear frequently when discussing early humans is Leaky. The Leaky family has been tremendously important in the development of paleoanthropology and our knowledge about human evolution uh, altogether. Uh, when Louis Leakey first went to Olduvai Gorge in the early 30s, we only knew of early humans from South Africa. We had no idea that they existed in East Africa. But Louis Leakey at Olduvai Gorge found stone tools uh, as evidence that modern man had existed in Africa. And this focused attention uh, into East Africa. And the Leakey family were now in the fourth generation of Leakey's doing field work in East Africa.